Okay, we're going to go over how to troubleshoot your Laveo in case uh, you're trying to operate it and nothing is happening. I'm going to give you some steps to follow that will help you troubleshoot uh, what's happening here. All right, so we've taken the back off of the uh, back panel off of the uh, toilet. Um, on there you have your wiring diagram if you need it. Matches up. Okay. We also have a uh, little tester here, a little voltmeter. It's the Harbor Freight model. It's about $6. Very inexpensive and very useful. All right. So what we're going to do here to start is we're going to unplug the toilet. We're going to remove the battery from the compartment. And we're going to start off by checking the voltage on the battery. First thing we'll do is place the probes directly on the terminals, red to red, black to black. And you see we have 12.93 volts there. Next step is to check our barrel connector. Slip the positive probe inside the connector. Hold the negative probe to the outside and you see we have 12.93 volts. If you were to test this and you were not getting any voltage, you'd remove the cap here. And you can see the fuse there and you would check the fuse to make sure that there's no break in between. All right. um, if the fuse were good and there was no voltage at the end, it is possible that the battery cable itself may need to be replaced. All right. So moving on to the next step, we'll take our toilet, we'll take our battery and we'll plug it in. All right. And now we're going to check voltage up on the circuit board at J7 and J8. Those are the left of just left of the white pair here. Sorry. And you see we have 12.91 volts there. That's good. As well, the power comes in and it breaks off on either side of this fuse here. So that if there is a surge, the fuse blows and uh, saves the circuit board and the rest of the circuitry. So we check up here, holding the negative and then checking up on top. You see we have 12.91 down here we have 12.91 as well All right if we were to check up here at the top and there were no voltage all right that would be an indication that there is a break in the line from behind here where the uh, power jack comes through and coming up through the back wall and into you know our fuse all right so if there were no voltage there it's very likely that uh, the power jack would need to be replaced all right uh, if you had voltage up on the top and you didn't have voltage down at the bottom then it's likely the fuse is blown you would probably be able to tell seeing it uh, but just in case we're going to show you how you can actually test the fuse we're going to dial this down to this symbol here and we're going to check for continuity. We're just going to make sure that it's a continuous connection. Okay. So we place one up on top, one probe down on the bottom, and you see our reading is very close to zero. All right. That's telling us that this is connected properly. The fuse is not blown. All right. So from there, if we had power all the way up, the problem is likely the circuit board. Okay. And we have a video on how you can go off and, uh, you know, replace the circuit board. Thank you.